Maybe somewhere in here. I'll take that, thank you. Usually it kind of points you in the right direction, which is why I want to go back that way. But at the same time, I don't, so if all else fails, I just walk. It shouldn't be that long of a walk back anyway. But with this being here and then this going up here, I figured it would just dump you out. Like, unless this is the, the dump out here. But I, I figured. I figured this would be the dump out. Okay, well, fuck it then. I'm just going over here then. Now, where the hell do I have to go to get out of here? Let me check the map. I just need to go over here. Maybe this was the dump out. Does this go to Skyrim or does this just go back into the... No, it goes right back in there. Oh well, it's not that long of a walk. It's not that bad of a walk. We should just have to like walk through this and then right back up here and we're pretty much there. Yep, alright, that works out. That's like stuck in the ground, whatever. It's cool. Meanwhile, back at the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. We have to go deliver the letter to What's-Her-Face, so here you go. Good. Alright, so, did you meet this Motier? What did he want? You're joking. Nope, I don't joke. What's this? By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what. But what we now have before us... <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? You might. But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm. How much time do you need? I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence. A private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. Well, I figured, you know, I mean, if he's if he's in the Ratway, he's probably with the Thieves Guild, so that'd be good. Meanwhile, at the Justice League, we come back to show this guy the amulet and try and sell it and so, stuff. Something you need? Anything for the guild? Like yeah, I need you to appraise this thing. Oh, oh, I see. Well, you're making friends all over, ain't ya? I sure am. So, uh... How is Astrid doing these days? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, but business, of course. What kind of business? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council. Specially crafted for each member. Worth a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood it's business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe. Buy it. This. An Elder Council amulet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit. Usable by Astrid only. For any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement, you bring that back to your lovely mistress. With my regards. It's one thing okay. To up the skills to be a thief. I got this letter of credit now. To actually use them. Uh, well, that's just great. Now we gotta go back. I don't even know 
I don't even want to know what this letter of credit may or may not be used for. Whether, you know, it's a service. Which I think I'm going to throw up a little bit, but whatever. Oh, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Can I wear my armor? That's pretty nice. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh yes, you've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. I see what you did there. Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. Do I have to dress up for this? Oh shit. I hope Stay not. Safe. Well at any rate, started bound until death. Alright. Can do. Can do. This is this is pretty evil shit though. Killing a bride on her, on her wedding day, like during the wedding ceremony, that's that is super evil. So at any rate, I believe we are near ish by to this area, which Looks like we just have to go over there. I think like everyone in town is heading that way anyway, which is that's cool. Not sure exactly where this at this is at, but I'm just gonna go ahead and follow this to over here. Which would oh damn it. How the hell am I gonna get in there? Ah I'm so glad Victoria and Asgard you know chose a public about deception. Us. That nothing. way the entire city can share in their holy bond. Oh, I know enough. I know those troublemaking stormcloaks refuse to submit to imperial authority. Such seditious behavior. Why, it's treason. And when the elves marched into your beloved Cyrodiil, and everyone took up arms against them, wasn't that treason? Against the Dominion, huh? Not at all. Why, that's not the same thing at all. The Dominion were invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them to preserve our own way of life. My point exact. Oh, that's great. My nephew, I the still Emperor, think my boys should have had a traditional Nord temple. wedding. We outside, in the cool I mountain should. air. We are outside. I mean, we're not, we might not be on a mountain, but... No, I'm not having a good time. My boy just married a God's forsaken Imperial. Skyrim is full of eager Nord women. And he beds down with the enemy. Okay, well don't worry, she'll she'll be dead anyway, soon enough. Ooh, look at you. Hello. I love weddings, don't you? Not really, no. Can't say I do. Oh my, yes. I absolutely love weddings. I haven't found my special someone yet, but there's still hope. Vittoria is well, getting up in years. It's pretty mean. Oh shit, where'd she go? Where the hell is she going? She went inside. What a jerk. Oh, wait a minute. I'm just here to provide protection. Wait, oh, she's up there. Oh, shit. Time to go up there and beat some ass. She's, uh... She's talking to the to the people. Sup, bitch? See ya. Time for me to go. Just bashed her in the ba Oh, God. Ugh. Ugh. Must run. Must run. Oh damn it. What say you in your defense? I didn't do it. You can't prove it. Oh damn it. 
A thousand and forty gold. Uh, ah, whatever. Here you go. I didn't steal anything. Well, I mean, if that's all it takes to kill someone of 